All right, and we're back with some pre-game talking to the coaches. Let's send it to Ben Metaba, who's talking with the head coach of Liberty University, Paul Bloomfield. Ben, what do you have? I'm here with the Liberty coach, Paul. Paul, how do you plan on on dealing with the speed of Miami, Ohio? Well, we've played uh, Miami before, so I feel like our teams can be compatible. The girls have got to come out. to victory in today's championship game? Obviously win, but uh, no, we just got to play our game. Girls got to play position and uh, stay out of the penalty box. Obviously all we, I, th I think we're ready. I think the girls, probably most of all, it's getting the girls to make sure they're in the right frame of mind and ready to play their game. So, Do you play this game any differently because it is the championship game or do you play it like a regular game? Like a regular game. Yep. Uh, each girl's got her position and, you know, job to do, and uh, we practice and play it all year, so that's the goal. And that was the Liberty coach, Paul, and now we're back up with John. Thank you, head coach Paul Thank Bloomfield you. of Liberty University for taking the time out to do that brief interview with us. We will be interviewing the head coach of Miami in a few minutes. We'll wait on word when he's available to talk to us, and that'll be head coach Scott Hicks. So please stay with us. Actually, he's on his way right now to do the interview. So we're going to send it right back down to Ben as soon as he gets set up. This is the head coach, Scott Hicks of Miami, Ohio, Miami University. So let's send it down to Ben. Thank you, John. I'm here with the Miami of Ohio head coach. How do you plan on, on dealing with Liberty today? You know, I think it's sticking to our game plan and sticking to what we do best and um, you know, not trying to overthink and overplay and just – you know, do the little things and, and use our speed to our advantage and, you know, don't let the pressure get to us. Do you want to use the speed to your advantage similar to what you did last night against Grand Valley State? Yeah, absolutely. I think we're a really quick team. It's one of our MOs and one of the things that we, uh, that we use to get this successful. So it's something that we want to do and something that we're looking to, uh, to jump on early. Now, what are your keys to victory in today's game? You know, get the puck deep, use our speed, and get shots on net. You know, crash hard and make sure that we... You know, we bottled our emotions up more than anything and don't let the, the magnitude of the game get the best of us. I think that's a big thing for us. Do you play this game any differently because it is the championship game or do you just play it like a regular other game? I think if you play it differently, then you're not being true to yourself. And so we want to stick to what we, we did to get here. And I think that's our MO and what we're going to look to do. And that was the Red Hawks head coach. Now back to John. Thank you, Ben. And thank you. A special thanks to Scott Hicks and again, Paul Bloomfield for taking the time out to interview before this all-important championship game. When we come back, it'll be close to game time. We'll see you then. Stay tuned as Miami gets set to take on Liberty University for the Division I ACHA championship game. All right, we are back live at the York Ice Hockey Arena for today's Division I championship matchup between Miami, Ohio, and Liberty University. We're going to go right down to the ice and get you all set up with the referees. Tonight's ref is Rachel Hutchinson. The line judges are Amy Loffman of Teaneck, New Jersey, and Madeline Weeks of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Liberty University starting lineup will feature their netminder, top of the nation, Chantel Lashinsky. In the back joining her will be Madison Fisher, Brittany Himmers, Kari Zickling, Sarah Stevenson, and Courtney Gilmore. Now, before I get to the Miami, Ohio roster, I'd like to apologize for mispronouncing Will's name yesterday. She will be the netminder for Miami, Ohio today, and her front three will feature Haley Williams, will also feature Rachel Booth, Kaylee Mooney, and on the back end playing defense will be Morgan McGrath and number 28, Jesse Gold. Guys, what do you expect today? I'm joined in the booth with Ben Metma and Mike Nocco. You know, I'm really expecting a good game between these two teams. I only watched a short part of their game yesterday, but they're both very competitive, so. I'm ready to see the speed of Miami of Ohio again take place and then how Liberty will counterattack that. And will Liberty be as successful as they were last night on the power play? Well, we're just over 10 seconds into the game. Liberty with control in their own zone. Moving it out was Himmers, giving it off to the captain, Zickling. She'll dump it in, where Wills will punch it aside, where Gold will try to play it along, but Stevenson in the corner, creating a scrum with Haley Williams. Haley Williams, the Zoe Harris MVP for the Division I ACHA 
Haley Williams right now flying down, tries to get a centering shot, blocked in front, loose puck to the center of the ice, but corralled by Liberty University, and they'll look to clear the zone. Great idea though, always going wide and taking that shot, get the pucks on the net, you never know what's gonna happen. Casali will dump it in and Liberty University will chase, looks like Granger along the boards trying to get it. Not cleared out just yet, kept in by Augustine. And carried around the board, looks like Fisher has it, but it's not out and it looks Hansen giving some trouble to some of the Liberty University players. Interesting storyline in today's game, they have the Zohairs MVP Haley Williams going against the best first team goalie of Liberty and Chantel. Line change underway for the Red Hawks as Liberty University swipes it around behind the net where will find its way to number four, Amanda St. Amon. Turned over though, tried to be flicked on by Hansen, but she's going for a line change. Carried along now by St. Amon. She's looking to get it out of the zone, but held up along the boards by number 11, Katie Baldwin of Miami, Ohio. We're really starting to see the swarming of Miami of Ohio similar to what they did in last night's game against Grand Valley State taking place. And the puck will find its way down to the Miami end and icing on the play. So no line change for Liberty. Miami will get some fresh legs out on the ice. And you can see they're already emphasizing speed, speed, speed in today's early matchup. No shots registered on goal yet. However, an offensive zone faceoff for the Red Hawks. Williams lost the draw to Stevenson there. It's dumped back around the board. Still kept in the zone. Good work there by Miami to keep that puck alive. Granger back checking Williams. Williams tripped up on the play. Stevenson has the puck and will clear it out where Granger has it. Good back check by Haley Williams stripping the puck from her and they'll reset in their own end. Attempt to pass for Mooney. A little too far for her to reach to. So Liberty will regroup in their own end. Tipping right here, banks it off the wall and it's regrouped by number eight, Cassidy Guthrie for Miami. The speed of this game is a lot faster than that of the D2 if you were watching earlier. If you joined us for our first game, North Dakota State bested Westchester University eight to one to capture the Division II title. Kaharchuk plays it out and it's gonna be dumped in by Liberty behind Emily Wills and it'll be gathered by Guthrie in the corner. She'll play it along to McGrath McGrath had a little trouble with her feet and she stuff attempt in the corner. Gathered now, looks like Katie Augustine has the puck. She'll dump it back to center. And it'll be played in, but only as far as tipping. Puck played out now as the captain, Kari Zickling, gives chase to it. MacArthur along the boards now, being a little bit harassed by Augustine from Miami, but Miami able to clear the zone and get it to center ice, where Fisher will dump it back in. MacArthur has a chance here, shot, saved by Wills, she'll fall in a loose puck, but they blow it dead. MacArthur continuing where she left off yesterday. Yesterday she had a two goal performance and it looks like she's trying to get back into that form again today. They relied heavily on her yesterday and she's going back at it again today. It's still early in the game. You guys saw both Miami and Liberty play yesterday. What do you think about the rest of this game? How do you think it's gonna uh, go for the rest of this? this year time period. Well Miami they're a very fast team and they use that to their advantage. They're all over the puck. Liberty is more efficient on the power play and they relied heavily on MacArthur in last night's game. It'll be interesting to see if there's any physical contact today. It wasn't a whole lot yesterday except for when Miami Ohio played. They got a lot of power plays. They did. Uh, a lot of forced errors on Grand Valley State side. Hammers are collected here. Granger will swipe it along. It bounces over the stick of number 28, Jesse Gould. She'll dump it around to her partner. Delaying it was Nicole Matthews. Dumped along the board now. Here comes the speedy Haley Williams. She'll get it past tipping, but right there is Kaharchuk who will gather it and play it out of her zone. Dangerous pass caught by Booth. Booth drops it. Williams backhand shot over Sean Teleshinsky. She might have got a piece of it. Impressive move there from Haley Williams. Puck not out just yet. Ascendant tries to keep it in. She does. Booth golfs it along, but it hits the mesh, and we'll have a stoppage in play. 15:39 left in the first. Haley Williams, the Zoe Harris MVP for the Division One ACHA Women's All-American. We saw how successful the Zoe Harris Division Two MVP was in the previous game earlier today, was scoring seven goals. So we'll see if Haley Williams has some of that brushed off on her. 
Zickling loses the draw to Williams and along the board now. Miami, Ohio tries to work it. Back to Williams. Williams has some room. Tried to center it. Didn't work out, but MacArthur will get it cross ice where it's chipped along. Nice little move there by 92 for Liberty University. Courtney Gilmore. Haley Williams gathers the puck in the corner. Booth lost control of it. Zickling on the move now. Shot deflected off goal. Guthrie. And Guthrie will corral it in the corner. Plays it to her defensive partner, Nicole Matthews. Matthews will get some help clearing it out. And Himmers will play it across to her partner, Fisher. Fisher's cross side pass a little out of the reach of Granger. Zenden will gather it for the Red Hawks. Hansen will be content to dump it back around where Augustine will have it. Deflected out, mishandled by St. Amand, but she keeps it in the zone. Augustine jousting with her. McComb with it now, centers the puck, no one there, collected by Guthrie. Guthrie will hand it off. Nifty little move there by Vasali. She's in. She beats the defender, will try to center over, deflected, and wide of the goal. Centering pass comes out. Augustine tries a wraparound shot, doesn't work. And McComb will send it, and this will be icing on. Liberty University. And it seems early on in this matchup that Liberty has been able to combat some of the speed that Miami of Ohio contains a lot more than Grand Valley State was in yesterday's matchup. Face off to come to the left of Chantel Wyshynski. Won by Izzy Smith and it'll be played back around the boards. Giving chase to it was number six Carly Noble for Miami. It'll be dumped back along by Katie Baldwin where Hemmers will play it around the board to, to Fisher. Fisher carries it up and will bank it, but only as far as Baldwin. Baldwin plays it across. Noble gives chase to it. Out of the corner, Granger gets it, will clear it past the blue line, and Miami will have to reset. Good hustle there by Granger. No Stevenson penalty with there. It. That, was, that was quite the hook. Puck played back in. Looks like CJ Tipping's got it. Plays it to her forward, Stevenson. Stevenson, stretch pass up ahead. Handed off to Burrell. Burrell and Greenwood right now on the attack. Burrell around the corner. McGrath bumps her into the boards. Left for Greenwood. Greenwood looking for a hole. Snapshot, not enough on it. Wills, blocker stop, and she'll fall on it. Good stop by Will. She didn't see much action in yesterday's game due to Miami of Ohio Red Hawks all over Grand Valley State. So today will be maybe a different story already. Off to a, seeing two shots on goal so far today. So Williams and Stevenson's will meet at the center dot. And Williams wins it cleanly back to Senden. Senden tries to get it out. Mooney all along the boards fighting with Greenwood. Advantage Mooney. Mooney. Nifty little move but doesn't work. Good defense by CJ Tipping. Puck comes back into the Miami zone where it's gathered by 12, Nicole Matthews. She'll circle around her netminder and reset. Breakout underway as Booth knifes it along. Zickling will play it back, and it'll be passed across to Tipping. Tipping had a little trouble handling it, but able to clear it out of the zone. Zickling trying to beat Sendin. Doesn't work, but it does go in the zone. Williams gives chase. Puck played out to Mooney. Mooney cross ice pass. Nice little between the leg pass move by Booth. Booth has it. Wrist shot right to Lashinsky. Hit her in the pass. chest, but she falls on it. Very impressive hand-eye coordination there, bringing the puck up through her feet with the stick. Lashinsky, the first team Division I goalie for the ACHA. Shot total is one for the home team and two for the visitors. 12.28 left in the first. Augustine in the corner. Hemmers gives Chase nice little move to get out of that by Augustine. Back to the point. Back to Augustine. Augustine tries to feed it along. Gathers the puck. Plays it back, but to a Liberty defender, but good rebound there by her to get the puck back, and it's played deep into the corner. Working in the corner is Vasali, but she gets pickpocketed by Liberty University's MacArthur. The counter eight, Guthrie is able to clear it past MacArthur, down past Fisher, where Himmer, where Tipping will gather it and throw it along out of the boards. MacArthur trying to give it to McCombs, didn't work out as planned, but Guthrie regroups, McGrath will play it ahead. 
Fisher will play it off to Tipping. Tipping will get it to the blue line. A long slap. Oh! What a Talk shot about. by CJ Tipping. Talk about a snipe. She put that one top right where Mama keeps the cookies. Did Great. Emily Wills see that coming? I don't believe so. She froze. She didn't move for it. So just like that, the third shot on net for the visiting Liberty University gives them a one nothing edge. 11.30 left in the first. That was a great rip right there, great slap shot by to send it past the Miami Ohio Red Hawk goalie and to start this game in favor of Liberty 1-0. Liberty fans rightfully excited about that shot as we go back to center where Izzy Smith faces off with Stevenson. And Liberty University will gather the puck, played across now. <laughs> They're be given to Stevenson. Number 18 for Liberty had it. Chelsea Greenwell was able to, to keep it, but her partner gets it. Thrown out in front, loose puck. Stevenson tried to shot, saved by Wills. Wills on top of it. No goal called, puck lost. It's behind Wills right now, but the refs say no, it was dead. Liberty getting after it right away right now, continuing to, to show their offensive push and putting a little bit more pressure on Wills than she has seen compared to yesterday's game. Lots of pressure from Liberty right now is causing Miami to turn over the puck in the defensive zone and, and struggling. they're struggling to break out. So we'll, we'll like to see what's going on with them later in the period. Izzy Smith in the corner now. Out ahead to Fisher at the point. Fisher will play it across to Hemmers. Hemmers will slap her through, deflect and score! Yeah. Liberty right back at it. But redirected in, beats Wills on the bottom corner, beats the left pad, and just like that, it's two to nothing. Are we gonna see two blowouts today? It could be. Liberty just showing their dominance early on in the first period. A very quick two goals here. So just like that, 10.58 left in the first period. It's two to nothing on two strikes, maybe a minute apart for Liberty. How do you think Miami, Ohio is gonna take this time out? How do you think they're gonna try and rebound? What do you think the coach is saying here? I think they just need to go back to their speed that they used in previous games and, and really start controlling this puck. Liberty has all the momentum. We saw this last game with North Dakota State getting to that quick start and just killing the momentum from there. Is Liberty gonna do the same versus the Red Hawks? So on five shots for Liberty University, one redirection and one top shelf slap shot. Only one shot so far faced for Chantel Lashinsky. And I think it's interesting to note from the perspective here, the, the backup goaltender for the Red Hawks doing a little bit of some stretching right now. So I was just gonna say that. Yeah, I completely agree. So you gotta see how, how long will they leave Wills in there for. They might have her on a tight leash right now. Definitely with the backup goalie getting limber. Yep, doing some stretches, leg stretches, loosen up the arms. And Emily Wills played a fantastic game yesterday. 16 shots faced, zero goals allowed. She's trying to duplicate that effort today, but so far has been bested twice. We'll see if she rebounds here in the first. They're ready to restart at center after the Miami timeout. Williams versus Stevenson. And it looks like Kaylee Mooney's gonna get it on the side. She's flying down the ice. We'll drop it back, center pass. Oh, Booth almost had an opportunity to stuff that home. Liberty Whatever they University talked about during that timeout, they're definitely coming back they at it. They came out fired up. Absolutely. Williams Haley. knifing her way through, shot. Saved by Chantel Lashinsky. And see, now this is difficult for Miami of Ohio being in that 0-2 deficit when you have the first team goalie, Chantel Lashinsky, and you're going against her. Can you be able to get several goals on her to help break this deficit? Well, we wanted to see how a rebound Miami would come out right after the timeout. In only a few seconds, they've come out flying. Haley Williams leading them. The shot of the fleck wide. Tipping's going to play it around the boards where it looks like McComb would knife it along. Beg your pardon, MacArthur. And now Zickling with it. Cut to the center. She's got a late shot. Scores! These are glove side, and it's 3 to nothing. That Liberty was a great goal. Goal. real. That was an awesome shot from Jickling there. An, really? uh, an even better move. She faked out the defenseman. And oh, and as you've noticed, goalie change. Wills just will be pulled for Van Orden. Just six shots and three goals. And Wills is throwing her stuff against the against the brick wall right there in the locker room, but visibly upset. Yep. So Van Orden will take over in the crease for the pulled Willis. Three to nothing. We're not even halfway through the first, folks. It's 10 to 20, 10 25 left. 
Liberty's getting after it, making their presence felt right now. Out to the commanding 3-0 lead. I thought, man, I thought Miami, Ohio was going out hard, but I mean, wow. Liberty's just shoving it down their throat right now. For all you Miami fans, you can relax. So there's still a lot of hockey left to be played. But if you're a Liberty fan right now, you're feeling pretty good about the way your team's playing. Definitely. The momentum's all on your side. Fans are behind you. The bench is excited. And, of course, you got Chantel Lashinsky behind you in net. The first team where you have to rely on her. And you know that she's going to get some great saves for you. Hanson's shot didn't have much power to it. CJ Tipping will play it off the glass. And it looks like Gold will gather it, play it to her partner McGrath, who will dump it forward. And number 14, Vasali, will have it. But we have a stoppage in play. And looks like there might be too many men on the ice penalty for Liberty. And going to the, the penalty box will be Granger for Liberty University. Too many men on the ice. 9.45 left in the first period. Again, if you're just joining us, three quick strikes in a matter of maybe four minutes for Liberty has been the difference maker. But now they have to go on the penalty kill. Let's see how Miami, Ohio responds with this opportunity here. Sendin will play it up the boards to, to Booth. Sendin works it across. Augustine will play it back to Sendin. Back down along the boards. Goes in low behind the net. Back out. Augustine keeps it in, keeps it alive. And it's behind the net where Himmers gives chase. Will rifle it around, but Sendin, good job of keeping it in. On her knees, will feed it to Booth. Great effort right there by the Red Hawks to keep it in play. Back to Sendin. Sendin launches a slapper. It's hit by Stevenson. And now we have a break for Liberty, but it looked like Courtney Gilmore was out of gas. Gilmore will come off and get some fresh legs for Liberty on this penalty kill. 112 left on the power play. For the Red Hawks as Booth carries it in. Shot is dead in by one of the defenders. Lashinsky will come out. And Fisher didn't look too happy about that whack by Williams. She did it. And there's some physicality they haven't seen recently that may play in part with it. There's one 103 left on the power play. As the faceoff is lost by Izzy Smith, cleared back. And Gold will give Chase McGrath right there to help her out. And Courtney Gilmore will get credit for the redirection for the third goal. Back out now. Cassidy Guthrie plays it along the boards to her partner, Carly Noble. Noble drops it off to Gold. Gold, nice little move through the middle. Looks for a shot. Lashinsky right there to stop it. Lashinsky just proving to everyone right here why she's the best. Nice little move along the end board by Lashinsky. Lashinsky all right over there. that. But a great move, though, by the Red Hawk player. We'll have the face-off come out to the right of Lashinsky. And Izzy Smith will face off with Stevenson in the dot. It's going to be one by, by Gold along the back. Wrist shot dead in by Stevenson. Good job getting the body in the way. And Liberty trying to clear it, but it hops out of play into Liberty's bench. 8.08 remaining in the first period, 3 0 lead. Miami applying a little bit of pressure here on the power play. They got 24 seconds left. They have, and they need a bit of a momentum shifter. Try to get a goal in here with about eight minutes left in the first and try to get some momentum on their side. Augustine will win the draw for the Red Hawks, but good effort there by. By, it looks like Himmers to get that puck in deep or to be corralled by Gold. Gold to play it to a partner, but nice little steal by Fisher. One on two opportunity. She'll play it to the corner where McGrath will give chase. McGrath holds up. Fisher read that the whole way through the neutral zone there. Great hockey IQ. Stevenson intercepted the pass. Played back to the defender. Looked like it could have been an opportunity, but nonetheless, it's back into Liberty's zone as the power play for Miami has expired. Good penalty kill by Liberty there. Not, let it, not allowing too many shots by the Red Hawks. Augustine's shot goes wide of the net. Good opportunity there on a feed from Vasali. Nice little behind the back pass. Still hemmed in their own zone as Liberty. Pass comes out in front. Slapper from the middle is deadened by McComb. 
The breakout didn't go as planned to Granger, and it's dumped right back in. The Redhawks are setting each other up very nicely for chances. And eventually, you got to think something's got to slip by. Jickling wanted to get that puck in deep, but good defense there by the Miami defender, Nicole Matthews, to keep it on the attack as Booth will dump it in. Lushinsky will stop it, plays it around back to get some help from Kaharchuk. Played back in behind the net. Lushinsky thought about maybe stopping it, but lets it go. Haley Williams will throw it to the front. Good play there by Kaharchuk to get it out. And this looks like it's MacArthur trying to get her way through. She gets a little help from Zickling, but it goes out of play on the chop by Haley Williams. Liberty applying and using some speed of their own to combat the Red Hawks. It's making for an interesting game today. Miami didn't really capitalize on that power play. What do you guys think about that? Um, I think they needed it desperately being down in this 0-3 hole. Some, some type of momentum. Fisher got it off the draw back from Stevenson, and a shot comes and hits Van Oren for what I believe is her first stop of the day. Seven shots total for Liberty University. Good stop by Van Oren to fall on that there. It was her first shot face to today's game, and she was able to save it. Face off one again by Liberty. Back to Fisher, but she couldn't hang on to it as the pass just eluded her stick. Played back across, it'll find a Liberty University player on the way to Stevenson, but she did not tag oh, up in time. Okay. Line change for Miami Redhawks, looking to get something going offensively in the last 6.04 of this opening frame. Face off will come to center, where Augustine will go toe to toe with Stevenson. But we'll start it over. Ref sorted out, and the two players will toss from the dots. We'll get a fresh face off, and it looks like Burrell's going to give chase, and Hansen has it now for Miami, where it's going to be carried in by Vasali. Puck goes out of play, so we'll have a defensive zone draw. Miami of Ohio trying to get into Liberty zone and try to create something. Have we seen a little bit of response from Miami in the last few minutes trying to really put pressure now? Miami's been putting a lot more pressure than they had been uh, right after the third goal was scored. Definitely Miami turned it around. Uh, just a little upsetting that they didn't capitalize more and get more shots on the net during that penalty or during that power play for them. MacArthur will carry it up, dump it in across the blue line, but McGrath right there to grab the puck where Vasali has it. Tangled in the ref's feet right now. Ref trying to get out. It'll find its way back to Guthrie. The Red Hawks fans heckling the referee a little bit about that one. And Guthrie will gather it again for the Red Hawks. Dumps it out to Hanson. Too hot to handle for her. Thrown back in by tipping past the stick of McGrath. And here comes the speedy Granger trying to apply pressure. But good job by McGrath to find Booth. Booth will find Augustine who's trying to get off for a line change and she will. Behind Lushinsky, it'll be gathered by Liberty University playing a little catch along the back end and it'll eventually find its way out to Lindsay Ellis. Back in deep. It'll be gold with the puck right now trying to work her way out of her end. Pass really to no one will find its way to Granger of Liberty. She's met by a few Red Hawks as Mooney here finds her defensive pairing in, Matt in Nicole Matthews. Dump back in, Fisher will have it. Tries to clear it, but good stick work there by Miami. It's corralled by Mooney. Slapper deflected up and into the netting. Miami getting some pressure down there in the uh, Liberty University zone. Showing a little, showing Liberty a little bit of the offense that they have. Trying to cut this deficit down with about 4.30 left in this first period. Not a high shot total through the first period. Five shots to seven in favor of Liberty, but they've cashed in on three. Yep, Liberty's capitalized on all the on the majority shots on goals that they've taken. Puck worked deep in the defensive zone as Noble will give chase along the boards for the Red Hawks. We played back along. It's going to find its way to the point. Wrist shot comes through Lashinsky. Saw it. Good reaction. 
Good reaction save, and she'll hold on to it for a face-off. Good job of Lashinsky to really read it and make a good save for her team. Lashinsky showing why she's the best. Baldwin, Noble, and Smith out there for Miami right now. But Liberty University applies some good pressure. And we have a chance of speeding down the ice. Wrap around. She was tripped uh, up. No call, though. Noble has it, plays it back around. Good attempt by Courtney Gilmore. And it will be collected along the blue line by Liberty. Played ahead to MacArthur. MacArthur who had two demanding goals the puck yesterday. MacArthur de demanding the puck at the center of the ice, slapping her stick against the ice, saying, Give it to me. I want one. Turnover, and Stevenson tries to hound it. Thrown back into the net. Van Oren ready for that one. Blocks to the side where Burrell will collect it in the corner now. Will hold it up as Gold and Augustine try to knife it away from her. And Augustine, successful, will carry it back. Katie Baldwin wasn't ready for the pass and it'll go by to Liberty possession, but we have a stoppage in play. And offside seems to be caught. Augustine and Stevenson at the center dot. Augustine, good faceoff win there. And it looks like Vasali will grab it. Dump it back to the point where waiting for it was one of the Liberty players. I think this is Greenwood. Gets through the middle, up ended. And a penalty on Becca Senden. Great move attempt right there by Liberty. Trying to, again, keep pushing the tempo and, and, and trying to get a goal to go their way. She almost was able to go through the defender, but Ref's demon infraction occurred. So we have 2.55 left, and now Liberty will get a chance on the power play. Liberty lurking, looking for their first power play opportunity to score. And they were very effective on it in yesterday's game. Mooney and Stevenson at the center. It's going to be won by Liberty back to Zickling. She'll, she'll hold on to it. Back to Stevenson. A little bit of catch here amongst the defense. Shot on goal. Goes wide of Van Oren. And McGrath will have it. And she'll send it to center ice where Zickling will calm it down. And Liberty will regroup. Stevenson with the puck now, working her way through the neutral zone, crosses into the blue line. One man team right now, she's working her way along, holds up, sends it to the top where Zickling is. Zickling back to Stevenson. They play a little bit of catch too. Zickling will wrist it through Van Orden with the stop, hits off Van Orden, she falls on it. Good stop there by the goaltender. Carly Van Orden has played fairly well for coming in. Midway through the first. Great stop by Van Orden. That was another opportunity that Liberty had to almost increase this already 3-0 lead even more going to the first intermission. Liberty putting on a bunch of pressure here on the power play. So 2.15 left in this first period. Shot total six for the home team. About nine for Liberty. Shot got deflected down in front by either tipping or by McGrath. Regardless, Burrell has it at the point. Feeds it across ice to Stevenson. Stevenson back to Zickling. She returns the favor. Patiently waiting for something to open up. Back to Zickling. Kari Zickling to Stevenson. Stevenson plays it low. It'll come back out to Stevenson. Stevenson looking for a shot. Miami doing a good job of really deadening the middle. Saved there by Van Orden on the sharp angle shot. And looks like Gold has the puck in the corner right now with Tipping and MacArthur meeting her there. MacArthur way to get the puck out and about so they can have another opportunity. Ooh, sharp angle shot by Tipping. Almost batted in by Stevenson. Good break there for Miami as McGrath sends it down the ice where it's stopped at the blue line by Stevenson. 25 seconds remain on the power play. Three to nothing in favor of Liberty. Looking to add to their lead total here. Miami looking to get off of the penalty kill. Shot hits off the left pad of Van Orden where it's collected by Vasali. Vasali around the net will dump it around. Gold didn't go chasing it, wants to hold her position. One minute remaining in the first period. Shot thrown, One hits minute. Guthrie. And a sliding attempt, didn't work out for Mooney, but Guthrie will back her up, send it the length of the ice, but the power play expired, so it will be icing. Effective penalty kill right there by the Red Hawks to try to keep themselves in this game. Their penalty kill was much better than expected. 
coming out. A big shutdown during that uh, penalty kill might lead to some momentum change here. 48 and a half seconds remain in the first as we're going to get a face off to the left of Van Orden. In case you're joining us late, she came on after three goals on six shots to Emily Wills. Mooney will feed it out. Booth overskated it. It's going to come back. Finds its way. Shot on goal by. It looked like it was the goal scorer from earlier, Courtney Gilmore. Van Orden really stepping up in net and replace of, of Wills. That's good to see for the Red Hawks. Miami looking to get back in this game. 37 seconds left. Maybe a late period goal will give them the spark they need. Mooney will get the puck and pass it back to Guthrie. Guthrie plays it to her partner. She'll send it, but it's turned over to Greenwood. I'm sorry, Gilmore. Mooney comes around with the puck, plays it to Booth. Good step up by Fisher. Mooney tried to get it, couldn't. Stevenson will play it back to Courtney Gilmore with 18 seconds left, dumps it in. Van Orden will stop it. Guthrie will gather it and works her way around the boards. Zickley there to meet her. And that should do it with five seconds left. And Miami will just hold on to the puck. Nicole Matthews. And after one, three to nothing in favorite of the visitors. Again, the shot totals favor Liberty 11 to six after one, three to nothing. I wasn't expecting to see this coming today in this game, John. So this is definitely a big surprise. So after this brief intermission, we'll be back for the second period. Thanks for tuning in with us. Don't go away. Back, getting ready for second period action inside the York Ice Arena out of York, Pennsylvania. I'm Jonathan Bromley, and the booth with me is Ben Metenba and Mike Nako. We get set for the second period. If you're just joining in now, 3 0 lead for the visitors, Liberty University. Lashinsky, very good first period. And we're going to see Van Orden back in the net for Miami of Ohio. So, we're about ready to face off at center ice. What do you guys think we need to see in this second period from Miami? Miami needs to dump and chase and get the pressure down on them. Uh, Liberty just needs to keep, keep the gas on the pedal, similar to what North Dakota State did in the earlier game, keep getting goals. Miami, Ohio, use the speed to their advantage and try to get some puck possession. Stevenson beats the MVP. Haley Williams off the face-off, and it's going to be sent right into the zone of Miami. Gold giving chase right now. It's going to be picked up by Stevenson. Stevenson is going to work her way around the back and then try to do a center feed. Van Orden swiped, swiped to the side, and it's headed back to the corner. Haley Williams has the puck, lost her footing. Mooney will take it back at center, crossing the ice, drop the booth. Booth fires it. Glove save by Lashinsky. Lashinsky, just a stone wall back there. Great stop by her. Great glove, glove save. So Miami with a nice little chance there to help them get back in the game. Coming to the dot for, for Miami right now is Augustine. And she'll face off against Liberty University's Nikki McComb. Hanson with the slap right off the draw, off the glove of Lashinsky into the corner, where it's picked up by Vasali. Vasali will dump it back in where Augustine, hustling to get it, beats Kaharchuk. But it looks like CJ Tipping's going to have it, but Vasali, a good stick check, and it goes behind the net. Kaharchuk with the puck, couldn't get it out, send in wrist shot from the point, right pad saved by Lashinsky. Lashinsky coming up big early in this period for him. I move Ohio really showing the pressure that they have. Wrist shot from the point 
goes wide by Nicole Matthews. And now McComb has it. She'll carry it up. Her partner Granger lost her footing, but McComb will be very happy to dump it into the zone and get that line change they need. Yep, get some fresh legs out there for Liberty. Make sure to combat with the speed of the Red Hawks. It's the period of the long change, and we'll have an icing on Miami, so we'll come back to the Miami zone for the faceoff. Miami's come out here looking for revenge from the first period. Coming out here with quick skates, really using the speed, trying to apply pressure as much as they can on Liberty. So in the faceoff, it looks like it's Jickling versus Smith. Smith will win it for Miami. Back along the board, it looks like Nicole Matthews. She'll finagle her way around the attacker and try to clear it past the blue line, but Jickling held her up, but eventually it's dumped in by Hansen into Liberty Zone. Hammers will collect the puck in the corner and dump it right back to her partner, Fisher. Fisher off the stick of Gilmore. McGrath couldn't keep it in, so Miami has to retouch, so a little bit of time for Liberty to reset. Cross height speed didn't get through, attempted by MacArthur to be dumped in by Izzy Smith. Fisher in the corner, plays it across to Hemmers, who's immediately pressed by Carly Noble. MacArthur dumps it ahead to Stevenson. Stevenson, nice little deke move there around the defender Guthrie, but ultimately ended up on the side of the boards. No opportunity out of that. Comes back now, dumped in by Kaharchuk. It's going to go along the boards where Guthrie has it. Banks it off to Noble. Noble cross ice pass just out of the reach of Liberty's stick, but Liberty is able to regroup with Kaharchuk in those zones. Puck finally settled down and played across to Guthrie. She'll get it off her skate boot. Played ahead to Booth. Booth to Mooney. Nice little move. Booney cuts to the center. Goes to Williams. Williams back and scores! Sick goal there on the backhand. Hardest shot in hockey to stop is the backhand. By far, ask any goalie. The backhander beat the blocker side, and it's 3-1. to one. Great play by the Red Hawks, and now you can see the momentum shifting. The fans are pumped. LU looking a little bit. Just take a look at those fans. They're pumped. But LU looking a little bit defeated right now. They need to keep that foot on the gas pedal and don't play how long can we hold this lead. They need to keep doing what they were doing best earlier. We talked briefly about the speed earlier today and right there, Mooney just cutting through the ice. Basically, Williams had a one-on-one -on -one with Lashinsky. Yeah, this, it, was, it was set up very great by the Red Hawks to get a great chance and uh, Lashinsky couldn't stop that one. Head coach Scott Hicks will keep the line that just scored on the ice as it's dumped around. And now they'll go off for a line change as it's gathered in the corner by Fisher, but the flex off the skate booth and is still in the zone. Greenwood in the corner will collect it for Liberty University. Plays it ahead, turnover into the zone. Vasali had a chance, but good work by MacArthur and Jake kind of back on their heels right now. They are. I mean, it seems like they're almost sufficient with this lead that they have, which isn't a good sign. Along the boards now, trying to work it out, was Liberty University's Gilmore. Cross-ice pass doesn't work. MacArthur with it. Tried to bank it off the board with the big gold right there to stop it. Now this swarming of the Red Hawks is similar to what we saw yesterday against Grand Valley State, where they're just all over the puck. They're not really allowing Liberty to do anything with the puck themselves. Yickling here will carry the puck up. Gilmore to her right. Zickling will take a long shot that goes way over the head of Van Orden and regrouping with it is Nicole Matthews from Miami, Ohio. Back out the center now, Izzy Smith with the puck. She'll move it up, back checked hard by McComb. Kaharchuk will give chase, but ultimately it's gonna be CJ Tipping who gathers the puck. Played to St. Amand, she's gonna have it. We'll get it past center ice, down into the Red Hawk zone where it's gathered by Guthrie. Guthrie tried the stretch pass, but it goes to Gaharchik. She'll play it to the corner. 
Miami regains it temporarily, dumps it in, but not far enough to have an offensive threat attack. Stumbling on the play was a Red Hawk. It's gonna find its way to Noble. Noble will dump it in. Baldwin will give a test to Kaharchik, but Kaharchik banks it hard off the boards. And back to Sendin. Sendin shot muffled by a sprawling defender. Good job by Liberty to try to stop the attacks of Miami of Ohio. We're starting to see a lot of more stick on puck action, stick on stick action for Liberty's defense, taking away from, from some chances. Stevenson plays it ahead, attempted to find Burrell, but pass a little too hot to handle. And we have a haltage in play. And the refs converse at center ice. We may have a penalty out of this. Well, the refs doing what they've done all tournament, which is really just come together, talk about it, and let's make sure we're having the right call out here. No penalty comes out of it. Jickling might have just been upset with that call there. So we'll get uh, the neutral zone phase off between Williams and Stevenson. Greenwood and Booth ask to step back from the circle. It finds its way to Hemmers. Hemmers will play it to Fisher. Back to Hemmers. Greenwood will get it in deep. McGrath and Gold giving chase, but it's won by Liberty University. Pass out in front. Ooh! Almost bounced off McGrath, but Van Orden right there to stop it. Good find by Van Orden, really finding the puck because it was placed right in front of her. But this is what you got to want if you're a Liberty fan, is definitely to have the attack on Miami of Ohio's zone and not back in your zone where Miami of Ohio is putting a lot of pressure on Lashinsky. 14-26 left. Williams in the dot with Stevenson. Ref drops the burnt biscuit, goes back. Hammers one-timer shot, block it aside by Van Orden. McGrath in the corner now. Pass comes out front, score! Greenwood in the slot, puts it home. Nice one-timer, kept it on the ground, everything right into the back of the net there. Great goal for Liberty. If, if any momentum was lost with the one goal by Man of Ohio, they instantly got it back with this one right here. Someone wasn't there for their defensive assignment, and just like that, it's four to one, another three goal lead for Liberty University, 14-16 left in the second. They Miami must have heard my uh, partner Mike say that they were on their heels, so they went out with the pressure. Oh, absolutely. All right, so we're back to at live action. It's gonna be gathered by the alternate captain, MacArthur. Back to Hemmers, Hanson flying down but couldn't keep it in and it will be handled in the back by Matthews. Fisher and Hemmers work the back end, played ahead to Jickling, Jickling got an edge on Matthews, stumbles a little bit, wrist shot saved by Van Orden and she'll put it in the mitt, we'll get a face off. Seeing some speed from Zickling right there, able to get past some Red Hawks defenders and get another opportunity on net. But good stop by Carly Van Orden. Shot total rising for Liberty. They've mapped 16 shots to just 10 for Miami. Van Orden's holding her own now that she's gotten warmed up. A bit more comfortable in this period than last one. Absolutely. A little bit of a bang-bang play on that last goal. Not too much. Yeah. She could do about that. Defender just missed their assignment right there in the slot. Stevenson got it backwards, but Miami will get it out of the zone where Tim Timmons will try to dump it in. But Miami regroups in their own end. Pass to Greenwood will be sent back in by Miami. Wyshynski comes out, settles it down, Kaharczyk dumps it back along the boards. Greenwood, the goal scorer from just a few moments ago, tries to clear it. Kaharczyk will help her out. But the pass a little too far, and we'll get an icing on Liberty University. 
Lashinsky standing back there like a brick wall. She's got 10 shots on her. No, yep, I'm, I'm right. 10 shots on her and just one goal let up. That's a pretty good ratio. Her players are coming up and dapping her up, telling her good job she's doing. Noble gives Chase a long tipping. Tipping will get it out, but it's not cleared. Thrown back around Lashinsky. It'll be gathered along the board by Karchik. Izzy Smith intercepts the pass. Dumps it back. Gold one-time wrist shot, but it hits the big defender, Stevenson. And we have a two-on-one break here. Greenwood along the left. Good back check by Noble and gloved down by Van Orden. Oh, a little extra after the play there. A little Red Hawks getting after it with Liberty. Absolutely. Good stop by Van Orden. Way to make that read. There was a brief two-on-one opportunity there, but the speed of the back checker, Noble, really cut the chance Liberty had. Yep, the, the speed of the Red Hawks comes in handy. McComb can't win the faceoff against Williams, and it'll be carried along by Sendin. Looks like Booth will carry it along. Mooney with a head of steam. Back to Sendin. Sendin couldn't handle it. It'll be sent the other way by Granger. And I think icing is going to be washed out on the play, and it is. Collected by Guthrie in the corner. And Williams goes after the puck and tries to get Miami on the attack again. Good stick handling there by Mooney, but we have offsides on the play. And the Red Hawks fans are unhappy with that call the refs just made right there. And they're letting them know about it. Kaylee Mooney just a step ahead on the attack. So we'll get line changes from both the teams. And it looks like it's going to be Augustine and Kari Zickling in the center. Miami's looking to jump it right now. Just get it deep and then chase. Vasali couldn't do it, but McGrath could. Gets it in. Oh, dangerous pass there. Hanson knocked it down. Back out. MacArthur will find. Looks like it's Granger along the board. Granger couldn't quite get it. But McGrath, our Augustine will get it and plate to Vasali. And she'll carry it over center to Hansen. Hansen will cut to the middle. A lot of sticks, a lot of bodies there for Liberty. So it'll come back out to center. Good job to recover right there for Liberty and make sure that that effort by the Red Hawks was just immediately stopped. Loose puck in the middle. Foul. Vasali back in. Lashinsky may have gotten a piece of it. It's Blocked to the corner, and then another attempt there. Vasali almost got a redirect. Comes off Lashinsky. Izzy Smith hounding around the net. She cuts along the end ball, end board. And oh, dumped by Gilmore there. And there'll be a penalty called. And it looks like the infractions on Liberty University's Courtney Gilmore. A little over physical there. It was an easy one for the officials to make. Easy All right, 11-16 left. We're going to see another Red Hawk power play, trying to help her team get a spark here in the second. Guthrie will play it all the way back to the point. Gold, wrist shot through. It goes wide of the net. Back out to McGrath. McGrath on the point shot. Good block by number 14, Burrell. She looks like that stung her. She's great, going for a line change. Great job by Burrell to sacrifice her body for the benefit of her teammate. She's going to feel it, but, hey, this championship game, let the adrenaline hit. You'll be back out there. The puck will make its way to center ice where Izzy Smith tries to calm it down. She'll play it to our back checker in gold. Gold will play it back to Guthrie. Guthrie will dump it in and she'll go for a line change while Kaharchuk gives chase to it. Kaharchuk banks it along to Booth. Booth met there again by two Liberty. I think maybe maybe try to start something around Haley Williams. I mean, she's a, she was awarded the Zoe Harris MVP award. So make her. something around her and, and try to get something going through her and maybe that let that work to your advantage. They need some sort of catalyst right now, and I think that Haley Williams is the one that needs to start it up right here. A quiet game thus far from her today. Williams, the lone goal scorer for Miami today, and good save attempt by Sendin after the tripping of Guthrie. But it's in the back end. It'll be held by Fisher. She'll play it across, but no one there. Good back track by McComb. Beg your pardon, Courtney Gilmore. Big battle along the boards. Miami trying to keep it in the zone. Courtney Gilmore in a scrum with Vasali, Guthrie, and Jickling. And coming to her help is now Augustine. 
Refs continue to let him play. Battle continues along the board. It looks like Guthrie finally gets the puck loose. Carries it to the end, tries to center a good stick check by Himmers. Back out to the point, Vasali has it. Dumps it over to Sendin. Sendin's got a little room, slap shot. Over the goal and wide. MacArthur tried to center it. Sendin intercepts it, but Himmers will collect in her own zone. Plays it back to center. Puck carried through the middle of the ice by Hansen, but she'll lose it on a good check by Greenwood. Sendin feeds it back to Hansen. Hansen looking for a little help, finds it in the middle. Lindsay Ellis, a little bit of stumbling there, couldn't really get a shot off. And Liberty University has the puck, sends it back around where Greenwood waits for the pass along, but Himmers couldn't get it to her. Liberty University may be a little bit more smarter with some of these passes. They're just kind of throwing it out there and letting the speedy Red Hawks get to the puck. Liberty excels definitely more in the offensive zone. McGrath deep in her own end, end trying to work it out. Plays it all along to Izzy Smith, but it was out of her reach. Granger keeping it in right now. McGrath bats it back along to Smith, who will play it comfortably back around the boards. Ellis couldn't quite clear it there, and it'll go back into the zone. Granger giving chase, plays it off to McComb. McComb along the corner, tries to center it. Good check, stick check by Noble. Gold will clear it, but it's sent right back in by C.J. Tipping. McGrath shadowed by Granger. Good job to ward off the attacker. She'll do a stretch pass to Izzy Smith on, on cue. Izzy tries to knife her way through, she gets through. Trying to cut to the center, shot off Lashinsky, saying that she runs into Lashinsky. Great save by Lashinsky there, keeping it in front of her. And great effort by the Red Hawk to come on there. Down 3-1, you got three on a one, and she's still giving a lot of effort, even with three Liberty defenders up in their face. Lashinsky very stout in goal today. Of the 12 shots she's faced, only allowed one in as the faceoff comes to the left of her. One by Kaharchuk. She'll send it around to Tipping. Tipping met by Mooney in the corner. Mooney will get the puck, but good back checking halts her progress. Puck comes out to Seneca Hartrick, flicks it on and not out. Good save by Sendin. She'll wrist it off the pad of, looked like it was Himmers. Sorry, it was Tipping. Booth rips it though. Glove down by Lashinsky. Nice glove save from Lashinsky. Yeah, yeah great save by Lashinsky. Liberty University and Miami will both go for line changes. With 5.36 remaining in the second period, four to one for Liberty. Booth will send it back to McGrath. McGrath will play it along the boards, but it's halted there again. McGrath will get it back. Shot from the point comes through, kicked aside by Lashinsky. Burrell will take the puck. Good back check by Williams to try to get that puck loose at work, and they'll regroup. Booth carrying it in. Williams held the line, deflected down by Fisher, and knife to the boards. Himmers along the back will collect the puck, but McGrath could not slow it down. Lashinsky has really stepped up big for Liberty when they've made some mistakes in their own zone. She's come up big with some good saves for them, keep them in this game. Mooney will play it in deep and go off her line change. Lashinsky stops it behind her net, gives off to Stevenson. Good game for her today. Dumped back to Guthrie, but it'll go all the way to Van Orden, who makes the stop. And St. Amon right there on Guthrie. Puck gathered in the corner and moved up to center ice. Good stick-to-stick -stick passing here. Hansen tries to get her way into the middle, won't go. Attempted back check, and it's going to be Granger and St. Amon against the defense, Matthews and Gold. Battle won by Matthews in the corner. She'll play it up ahead to Augustine. Augustine couldn't quite get it. Runs into Ooh. the linesman. Both go down. Puck gets in deep, though. Little sticky situation there. Augustine holds up. Had some time, but lost her footing. Back to Matthews. Matthews wrist her wide of the net. Hansen with it in the corner. Couldn't collect it, though. Tipping. Good defensive effort there. And MacArthur along the boards will try to reverse it. Board battle continues on the far side of the rink. And a player on the puck, so the refs will blow it dead. Granger couldn't get up. And we'll have a stoppage in play with 3.47 left 
in the second. The Red Hawks really uh, had a nice advantage there on that two-on-two because they had the fresh legs compared to Liberty, who had the more tired legs. Miami just came out of a quick line change when that two-on-two -two happened and it, and it went in their favor as they were able to completely stop that attempt by Liberty. Miami looking to uh, gain some control down here in the offensive zone. Smith with it now in the feet of Guthrie. She'll give it a long back along the boards. Looks like Baldwin's going to give chase, but Smith will beat her there to it against Hemmers. Kept in by Sendin. She's done a good job keeping pucks in this period. As it's sent back in by Baldwin, Smith has a chance. Sharp angle shot saved by Lushinsky. Good job by Lashinsky. Some of these shots are getting tougher that she's facing, but she's stopping them. Miami really starting to turn the ice a little bit here. A lot of zone time late. 3.15 left in the second frame. Cutting through with Smith. Leaves it off for Baldwin. Baldwin leaves it for Guthrie. Guthrie circling the boards. Jickling and Fisher there to stop Guthrie. It's going to be one, though, by Noble. Back out over the stick of Matthews or Baldwin, over the stick of Baldwin, and Van Orden will slow it down in the corner, send in, will play it back to Baldwin. Turned over to Stevenson, she'll send them right back around the net, send in, nice little move to beat Greenwood. Mooney will find it, she'll play it up to Smith. Smith dumps it across the blue line, but falls, she'll have to back check, and Miami regains control in her own end. Guthrie able to get it in deep. Hemmers giving chase. Kahartrick there for support, but it goes to Greenwood instead. Greenwood along the board. Cross ice pass will be collected by Burrell. She'll play it forward. Good stick by Williams and Booth. And the puck up for grabs at center. Burrell fanned on the dumping attempt, and it'll go back to Stevenson. Puck beats everybody, so McGrath will give chase. As Williams on her side, she'll give it to her. Williams carries it through. Full head of steam, gets through the defender's wrist shot, but it hits the side of the net. Lashinsky there, holding the angle. Haley Williams trying to start something up for the Red Hawks. Booth swipes it towards the goal. Lashinsky there in case anything arise from it. Dumped back along by Kaharchuk and cleared by Himmers to the boards where it looks like Courtney Gilmore will try to play it out. She can't do it, it's kept in by Hansen. Hansen back to Williams. Williams has an open to the left. He gives it off. Shot from the point. Oh, deflects wide. Might have hit Lashinsky. Nice pad shave from Lashinsky there. Directing it into the corner. Great idea. No quit on the back jet by Gilmore. Good work to strip the puck from Hansen. And similar to what we saw yesterday, John, when the Red Hawks played Grand Valley State, is <laughs> Haley Williams, though that she's the MVP, she's not all about scoring herself. She's about setting up her teammates. And, and right now we need to see what the MVP is all about. And her team is facing adversity. And how, she, how will she respond to the rest of her teammates? Vasali finds Augustine in the center, and it will be held by Lashinsky with under a minute left to play. And back to your point earlier, she doesn't necessarily score a lot of goals. She has one today from the two games we've seen her, but she creates a lot of opportunities. She does, and she, she sets up her teammates, which is great, because you can use her to help set up teammates. She draws a lot of attention, and then you can dish it off to one of your teammates and set them up. Miami getting a little bit of pressure down here during this uh, last two minutes. Like you said earlier, Liberty just doesn't look as comfortable as they do in the offensive zone when they're in defense. Absolutely, their, their defense struggles against Miami's offense for sure. Once they get it out of that zone, it's just full steam ahead for Liberty. Puck drop, MacArthur, Hounds, Sendin, and Matthews along the defensive end for Miami. It'll be cleared along the boards, but not completely out until Matthews grabs it now and will stick handle her way through the center ice. Zickling, Kari Zickling will Corral it in the corner. Plays it off to McComb. McComb a little tough to handle for her, so it'll go back to Sendin, and she'll try to get Miami on the attack. Puck comes across the blue line, so Miami rechecks, re and it's dumped back in. Wyshynski slows it down, puts it in the corner. Tipping will play it to her partner, Fisher, but it eludes her. It eludes Williams, and it'll find Matthews. Four seconds left. Tipping along the boards, and that'll do it for period two. Four to one. Goals from each team in this period. Four to one for Liberty University. Shot total dead even at 17. Good work by Lashinsky and Van Orden in this second frame. What do we need to see in the third from Miami and Liberty? I think Miami just needs to push it into Liberty's zone. 
make sure they stay with the puck possession. And Liberty just needs to keep off their heels and keep pushing it and don't be sufficient with this lead. Miami needs to just get it in there into the offensive zone and start putting pucks in the net. Liberty needs to get the puck out of their defensive zone, um, make sure they feel more comfortable in their own defensive zone. They seem to just be slapping the puck around a lot right now. All right, we'll be back after the second intermission break. Don't go anywhere, folks. We have an exciting third period ahead. All right, we're moments away from the start of the third period. Thanks for joining us today. Game recap for those of you who may be late joining us. Shame on you for being late. Four to one score in favor of Liberty right now. They started off three goals and then extended to a comeback goal in the second. It was three to one in favor of Liberty, but then Liberty struck back on Miami, and it's four to one right now. Wills has pulled three goals on six shots. The fans are getting real loud, real rowdy right For now. For both sides right now. Loud whistles, everybody's getting pumped. Miami's getting pumped. They need three goals to come back and tie it at least and send it into overtime. So we'll see 20, how things go here. 20 minutes away from capping the Division I ACHA Women's Champion. The first team on team. Moments away from that, we've had... Uh, First team All-American Chantel Lushinsky in net for Liberty University. And we've had the MVP of women's hockey, Haley Williams, net the only goal for Miami of Ohio so far today. Looking to see if Haley Williams can pull out and get another goal or something. Haley Williams again, Zoe Harris MVP. So let's see what she's got. 20 minutes left in the season. Let's see what she can do. You obviously got enough to rely. Moments away from puck drop to start the third period. Shot total 17 apiece from both sides. Williams and Stevenson will meet at the center. Liberty's pump the pounding their sticks against the bench. They're ready to get another one. Right here off the faceoff. They're oh. going in for it. Gilmore oh. takes offsides. a tumble, but offsides. But definitely right now, if you're the Red Hawks, you want to rely on the Haley Williams. You know she's the MVP. They're facing adversity right now. They're down by three. Let's see what she can do and be the, be the catalyst for them. But we've got pumped up fans in the York Ice Arena right now. Miami fans looking for a comeback. Three goal deficit right now. We'll see what they can do as Mooney plays along the boards, but it's kept in by Stevenson. But Haley Williams will gather it and she'll work out of her own end. <laughs> Puck to center, settled by Fisher, played along. Tried to be poked on by Gilmore, but it's given off to Williams, who lost it. Fisher has it and carries it in. Williams back checking hard as St. Amand around the corner meets in a scrum with a few players. Both teams coming out with a lot of energy as of right now, letting the skates fly, knowing that there's only about 20 minutes left in your season, so give it your all. Puck at center ice was knocked down. Gold will, on a second attempt, get it in, but not too deep as it only comes to the blue line and it's sent down for icing by tipping. We'll have a defensive zone draw for Liberty University upcoming. And it's, and that's what's great about championships sometimes is, is you fly around knowing that this is the last bit of your season, so why not? Use all, use all the energy you have left. Face off one in the back end by tipping. Played along where Matthews keeps it in. Granger fighting to get it out, but can't do it. Giving back to Vasali. Tried to get a shot towards the net. Didn't go, but she regroups the puck and will dump it in. Kaharchik behind the net will throw it along the boards. Granger trying to settle it down. Goes to Matthews. Tried to be poked on by Vasali. It's cleared out and it will go down the length of the ice for icing. And Liberty tried to make a quick line change and the refs are coming over to make sure they have the right players on the ice. It's fun to see both of these teams flying around and really getting after it already close to two minutes in. Offensive zone faceoff lost by the Red Hawks, but it's still kept in the zone. Granger has it along the boards. Trying to get by Guthrie and will do so successfully. Beats Hansen and will go all the way down. Icing washed out. It'll be McGrath 
Playing it along the board to Hanson. Izzy Smith along the board. Vasali back out on the ice. MacArthur, good, good back checking. She strips her of the puck. Still with it now. Tried to get it off. Fanned on it, but on a second attempt, gets it back out. McGrath with the puck now. Throws it to the other side of the rink where it looks like Noble tried to get it, but it'll deflect off Kaharchik's stick. Out of play. Liberty constantly pushing the puck, even though up 4-1, and this is what we talked about before the second intermission. Miami doing a good job of keeping it out of their zone. A lot of neutralized play and down into the Liberty end. And as we know, Liberty is not as comfortable in the defensive end as they are offensively. Hemmed in their zone is Liberty as it goes past Noble back to the point where Gould tried to settle it down. It looks like MacArthur's got a two-on-one chance. Matthews alone. MacArthur feeds it. Shot by Gilmore. Oh, might have hit the post. Just wide. Need to hit the net on that one for sure. Augustine with the puck now. She'll get it out of the zone to Noble. Noble beats Fisher, but Stevenson, good, good back check, will get the puck. Plays it up past Greenwood, and Haley Matthews will play it. Stevenson gets it into the zone, but it's corralled by Matthews. Off the boards beats Burrell. Flying down the ice and sliding. Looked like it was Haley Williams. It'll come back down into Red Hawk territory where Matthews has it right now. Nicole Matthews still with the puck. She'll play it out to the side where it goes to Noble. Gold right there to deep the puck away from a couple of attackers. Mooney with the puck right now. Haley Williams, MVP again. All-American first team. Only goal on the board for Miami, and she's trying to get her team a second one. She is. She knows she has to be the catalyst and, and, and bring some of this momentum towards her side and do something in their favor to get them started. Tipping plays out. Greenwood tried to flip it along, but didn't work. But McComb right there. McComb right there to poke it along where Senden has it. She'll give it to Augustine. Augustine gets to the center line and gets it in. Granger right there to meet her, though. And down goes Granger. No penalty back in front. Hanson, oh, couldn't quite get it to stay on her stick. Puck exits the zone. Granger's got a chance now. Senden pinches over. Granger tried to beat her, but the long reach of Senden hindered that. Fisher pinching right there. Nice. Good job for the Red Hawks using their speed to recover quickly. Puck played along to Vasali. She'll play it across to her, her attacker, Augustine, who works her way through center, but Jickling right there to take the puck. And Liberty on the counter. Puck finds its way back to gold. And it'll be dumped in, looks like, by Hansen. Collected along the boards by Himmers. Himmers tries to go around Smith. Smith pickpockets her. Smith has a chance here. Thrown to the slot. It finds McGrath. McGrath shoots it. It's blocked her aside. A lot of traffic in front of Lashinsky. Good chance there for Miami. Lashinsky with a nice pad save there. McGrath will carry it along the boards. Tries to hand it off to Smith. Smith tried to dump it in. Gets it through. Now dumps it. But it hits the meshing above the net. Lashinsky for Liberty University has stepped up every time her number's been called so far in today's game. We played just under five minutes into this third period. Four to one, Liberty still. Shot total, 18 in favor of Miami. Face off one by Liberty University. They'll work their way out of the zone. Off the stick of Stevenson. Back to Miami. Got a shot there. Oh, good patch saved by Lashinsky. Alert stop there on Izzy Smith. Izzy Smith finds it back. Gold tried to get a shot towards the net. Tipping right there. Bats it along. LU getting in the way of most of the shooting lanes there for Miami. Burrell lost an edge there and it's cleared back out to center ice where it's going to find Himmers to Tipping. Tipping throws a shot towards the net. Goes behind. Granger there to corral the rebound. Van Orden played very well coming in. Shot. Hemmer's gloved down by Van Orden. A little extracurricular activity by the Red Hawks on one of the Liberty players in front of the net. The What's it going to take to get Miami back in this game? 
I think Miami, they need to use the speed to their advantage and stay in the Liberty Zone. And really, you need to use every second to your advantage and be productive when you're down by three goals this late in the game. Behind the net, it's Matthews, Nicole Matthews. She'll carry it out. She'll find her partner, Kaylee Mooney. Mooney tried to get it through, but good stop by Fisher there. And ooh, almost a chance for MacArthur to really go in deep there, but good back check by the Hawks. Mooney able to get a little bit of stick on that to send it into Liberty's zone. Fisher with it now, plays it back to the, her defensive partner. Tries to find MacArthur out of the reach. Senden has to hold up. Where offsides would have been called. 13.40 left in the third period as Liberty's trying to work her, their way out of their own end. MacArthur will try to help out there, tries to dump it along, but Gould, sent, Guthrie, sends it right back in. McGrath will settle it down in her own end, but it's dumped in by Liberty University. Coming around now, McGrath trying to work her way through Burrell. Stopped at the board, but Augustine able to corral it and get it ahead, dumps it in, and they'll get a partial line change for Miami. Lashinsky played it behind the net. It comes back to Guthrie. Guthrie tried to dump it in. Came right back to her. Guthrie still staying on the puck. Working her way deep into the corner. Tipping and Stevenson there to greet her. Vasali trying to offer some support. And Stevenson will be content to play it back around the boards. Where it's poked out along by Liberty. Good defensive effort by Liberty. But also a good job by the Red Hawks to make sure that they're in Liberty's zone and spending a lot of time down there rather than in their own zone. Puck came out for a brief moment, back in and now back out again as Izzy Smith sends it back. And a stretch pass attempt will go wide, intended for Noble and icing on the play. The Red Hawks just need to make sure that they keep pressuring Lashinsky and, and just getting a lot of shots on her and hopefully letting, hopefully, for the Red Hawks, some will slide by. But definitely just keep pressuring her and, and not spend too much time in your zone letting Liberty get shots on uh, on your goalie. Nikki McComb in the center dot facing off against Izzy Smith. It'll stay in the back end of the zone where Nicole Matthews gives chase to it. Plays it back along the boards and it'll be cleared back out to center ice. Liberty gets it there and McComb will swat it back in to the, to the zone. Miami trying to push it up. Definitely the need to get up into the offensive zone. Get some more shots on net here. Carly Noble working her way, giving fits to Himmers in the back end. Play back out. It'll be MacArthur. She'll have one on two. Good poke check there by Matthews and sent back in. Delayed offsides washed out. Carried along now. Matthews will hold up, regroup. Go behind Van Orden. Played along the side, out past Booth, and Haley Williams, the speedster, tried to get an edge on Courtney Gilmore, but couldn't do it. Gold with the puck finds finds Williams. Williams trying to battle through Stevenson. Stevenson gets it, carries it into the zone. Good back check by Kaylee Mooney. Comes back out. Kaharchuk able to keep it in. Slapper comes in, but dead in by the defender. Gold. It'll go down the length of the ice, icing washed out by the linesman. And Burrell, one touch pass to Stevenson, two on two chance, good poke check there by Becca Sendin. Augustine cuts through the middle, almost beat Kaharchuk, but good up ending there by Tipping and Liberty. 10.40 left in this third period, four to one still the score, shot total 19 to 18 in favor of Liberty University. Lachinsky didn't even see that one. Shot from the point, locked down, and it comes back out to center ice. Lachinsky's done very well in net today. She has, she stepped up big when Liberty has needed her, only allowing one goal. Jickling trying to work her way through. Izzy Smith wouldn't have any of it, and Van Orden finally says enough's enough, let's stop and regroup. 10.05 remaining in this third period. And to give Van Orden credit, she stepped up too, coming in 
off the bench after Wills, the second teamer, allowed three goals in the first. Van Orden stepped in and, and only allowing one goal, but it still played a great, a great game. Fisher shot blocked by Carly Noble. Noble will get the puck back, trying to beat Fisher. She's going to elect to let Himmers take it. Shot comes through, but deadened by Himmers. And a battle amongst the boards goes to McGrath. She'll play it back in, finds its way to Izzy Smith. She'll, she'll work away along the back, trying to get an edge, but falls down. And we're going to have a penalty, and I think it's going to be tripping on Liberty. So a late power play, mid-power play coming through the third period for Miami. The Red Hawks fans getting into it right now. Shannon. Really trying to pump up their, their home team here. Exactly. The team needs some momentum and they're and they're uh, they're really pumping them up. And so we got an offensive zone draw here for Miami. 25 passes it to two. 25. Over to 23. 25. Back to 23. In the corner there. Haley Williams giving a little shot and wide. 10, getting the puck to 23. Off the boards goes Liberty. Senden gathers the puck, plays it across to Williams. Williams brings it back in. 130 on the power play left. Williams trying to cut her way through. Oh, good chance there. Better save by Lashinsky. The Red Hawks really testing Liberty's defense and penalty kill at this moment. Sent back down. Van Orden will calm it down in the corner while McGrath takes it and hands it off to Williams. Back Turnover. Pass. And oh, backhander by Zickling, stopped by Van Orden. One minute left on the penalty kill. Izzy Smith will take over. She's got a full head of steam. She's going to rip it. And it's going to be blocked in front by Himmers. Not cleared out completely. Sent back in. A slap shot from the point way That's over the net. Unfortunately. Otherwise, that would have been a rocket. Good opportunity there for the Red Hawks. Puck thrown in front, but blocked by a sliding defender. And Zickling content to dump it down the ice. Morgan McGrath behind the net will hold on to it. Oh, turnover. Courtney Gilmore, 16 seconds left on the power play. She's just going to hold it along the board, try to kill as much time as possible. 7.52 remaining. Liberty's had a good effort when on this penalty kill, not really allowing Miami of Ohio to stay in their zone too long, putting pressure on Miami of Ohio. Great effort by Gilmore. That kills off the rest of the penalty. Player releases from the box, and it's back to five on five action. Gave up her body for the benefit of the team so they could kill that penalty. That's what you gotta love. Tipping might not have known the penalty had just concluded. She sent it down the ice and will be an icing call, so we'll get an offensive face off for the Red Hawks. Miami really trying to press here. They only have about seven and a half minutes left. Got to get something started. Get one quick one, it might turn the game around. So Katie Augustine will joust in the center dot with, it looks like Sarah Stevenson, but a temporary stoppage in play. The refs yes. have a, are having a meeting right by the Red Hawks bench talking to the Red Hawks coach. Red Hawks coach is giving them hell about something. Liberty fans weren't too happy about that either. They didn't like the little private meeting that the Red Hawks coach was having with the refs. And Matthews has at the point. Tries to shoot it through Burrell, but doesn't work. Puck played back in. Tipping with it. Throws it off the boards. It exits the zone. Speck ascending right there to stop it. She gets some help from Vasali, but still scrum along the boards. Tipping, trying to clear it. A lot of bodies down in the boards, and eventually will find its way to center ice, and she'll cl tipping will clear it to the neutral zone. A little more pressure now from Miami. Kicked ahead by Augustine. She'll try to pursue it, tipping, holding her up in the boards, waiting for reinforcements. Stevenson helps her out and sends it around, and it's kept in by Matthews, almost shipped ahead by St. Amand. 
Good work there on the boards by Matthews. Rister from the side from Hansen didn't quite get through. St. Amon right there. Trying to get it out, but it's thrown and knocked down by Himmers. 6.30 left in this game. Miami really creating some pressure and chances. Can they do anything else besides create the chances and pressure to get back in it? Yeah, that's all they really need right now. They need to just keep getting shots to the net, keep the goalie moving side to side, and um, crash the net definitely for all rebounds. The puck hops over the stick of Guthrie. She'll go the length of the ice to get it, but we're gonna have an icing call. So another opportunity for Miami of Ohio in the offensive zone. Yep, another potential chance that the Red Hawks have, so they need to take some advantage of this. Maybe not necessarily a goal, but definitely to keep the puck in this Liberty zone and try to create some chances. About six minutes left, so it's pretty much do or die right now. Give it all you got and, and try to create something. Following the conclusion of the Division I championship game here, we will have an award ceremony broadcasted live player MVPs, game MVPs, tournament MVPs, and all the good stuff for all the hardworking players. We'll also have our Ben Menaba go down and interview the MVP and captain for the winning team. Buck works its way to the point, and it's finally cleared out. Morgan McGrath will give chase to the puck. She'll gather it in her own end. Katie Haley Williams gets around one defender. Good back check by Kaharchuk, knocked it away. Still in the zone, not out yet. Lashinsky tried to swipe it aside. Centering pass didn't work. Williams circling, looking for help. Cuts through the middle. MacArthur swats it away, and McGrath will chase the puck and try to get Miami back down. Good hustle by MacArthur. Puck played back in. It looks as if Guthrie's going to have the puck. Plays it ahead. Mooney tries to drop it down low. Doesn't work. Fisher will get it out to center ice where Greenwood tried to chop it along, but good defensive effort by Jessica Gold to keep it in. And we got an opportunity here. Noble tries to slide it through, but a good defensive effort there by Liberty as it deflected wide. This is what you want to see if you're a Red Hawks fan, putting a, a lot of pressure on Liberty in their zone. And for Liberty at this stage, you just need to keep it out of your zone and keep putting pressure on your own too. Because you're not your strong suit is not your defense thus far in today's game. Not out yet. Burrell tried. She'll get a second opportunity here and she'll get it back down. Will it have enough for icing? No. Ref waves it out. And Matthews will gather it along the board. Noble has it. Feeds on to Baldwin. Baldwin couldn't quite handle it. But it's turned over by tipping. Two, number 12, Matthew. She's going on the attack, stops, loses control of the puck. Augustine there to gather the loose puck. Poke checked by McComb. Regroup by Augustine. She'll play it back to Hansen. Hansen doing a little give it go. Ooh, almost got a shot off. Good stick check by McComb. Great moves by the Red Hawks trying to create chances off some good ideas. We're down to 348 left in this championship game. The Hawks, if they're going to need to score, it's going to be now. Augustine tried to fire, deflected to the side, hit some traffic in front. Vasali with it now, plays it out. The point slap shot by Matthews. Blocker down in front, scrum in front. Hansen tried to swipe nice it, loose puck, by not, and it goes wide. Lashinsky standing on her head. Coming in clutch when her number's called. This is why she's first team ACHA. Lashinsky putting the hammer down, not allowing a shot to get in. 3-12 left. Great job by Lashinsky, giving her teammates her all. But the Red Hawks are still pushing. Williams drops to Mooney. Mooney tries the shot, gets it off, but it goes wide of the net. Loose puck out in front. Good tip on by MacArthur. Should give chase to Becca Sendin. Sendin will swat it to the boards where Guthrie has it and plays it along to Booth. Booth cuts towards the middle. Great effort by the Red Hawks being relentless on Lashinsky. They know she's first team, but they say, we, want, we need goals. We're trying to win this championship. We got under three minutes to do it, so let's start right now. A nice poke check there from MacArthur, keeping uh, Miami off sides and drawing the restart out well, here in the neutral zone. 
The Liberty players are starting to feel a 2.47 left. Got to hold the fort for just a few more minutes. Borrell will swat it back to Sendin. Sendin tries to feed it across to Noble, and she'll eventually get it and dump it in. Liberty, Liberty University fans can hear it now. Yeah, the faithful are giving them the extra push with the under 2.30 left to play, letting them hear the school chants. Empty net at the other end as Miami is all in right now. 2.25 left in the game. Van Orden has been pulled. It's a six on five. One in the corner by Mooney. Mooney roughed up a little bit by McComb. Actually, it's Stevenson in the corner. A lot of bodies now. Refs letting them play. 2.05 left. And it's played along the backside of the board where it will go down the length of the ice. Miami's fans really trying to get a call here for delay of game or something. A little unfair, they think. Yeah, they're really irritated right now, especially at the officials. They want some type of call. 152 left in the game. Thank you for joining us for the Division One Championship matchup. And it looks like we're going to get a timeout by Liberty. So we got a timeout here. Um, Miami's definitely talking it over, seeing how are they going to set up their first shot here. Uh, they have a draw over there in the right circle of the offensive zone. And... Uh, Liberty's just thinking, how are we going to get it out of the zone and keep them from putting the puck behind our goalie. Lashinsky's standing on her head lately. 24 shots and just one goal for uh, for Miami. And then you got the four goals for Liberty, and they have just 18 shots. So really, Miami is doing work against this team, really uh, keeping the pace. And we're about to restart here as, as the timeout comes to an end with just three seconds left. All right, 152 remaining in the third period timeout. Over, we'll get back to action. Empty net at the other end for Miami. It's going to be Augustine in the center dot. We'll lose the draw to Stevenson. Greenwood's going to get it in the corner. Try to get it out of the zone, and she's successful. McGrath. Chasing it. Greenwood has an edge. Going to fire towards the empty net. Goes wide. It's going to be picked up by Vasali. She'll hand it off to Jordan Hansen. Hansen working her way across. Dying moments of the game. 1.30 left. McGrath knocks it down. Burrell has it. She's going to try the empty net. And it's headed there. And it's off, off the post. post. And that'll be icing. Wow, that's a shame. Wow, that, was, that puck that was, was on really edge. That was really close. 1.22 left in this very entertaining game. Chantel Lashinsky, the difference maker. She definitely has been standing on her head and playing as she should. You know, that first all-team ACHA. Absolutely deserving of it. Faceoff will come down the ice. Puck is on edge rolling. It's going to be gathered by the Red Hawks. And it's Caitlin Karpinski who, who got the puck. And it looks like we're seeing some people who haven't played much in the game out there right now. Yeah. Miami giving them a chance. Held by Lashinsky, played along the boards. It's going to be halted by Karpinski. She's going to play it in. It's going to go deep. Centering pass. Ooh, goes through. Sending right there. Shot. Hit some traffic. And it's going to be carried out by Fisher. Fisher has got a head of steam. She's got an empty net. She's going to try to backhand it. And it goes just wide. 40 seconds left in the game. Sarah Lankowski plays it off to Lindsay Ellis. She'll dump it in, giving chase as Himmers and Liberty University will touch up. So at 28 seconds left, it looks like Liberty University is going to capture the Division I championship title. They are definitely in the runnings for it. There's only 30 seconds left, and they are going up on a power play. That's what it says on the board, so. Oh, uh, no, they're also, they're actually on the penalty kill. But 30 seconds left, 4-1, no doubt. So Fisher, Liberty Unity. 
Faceoff's going to be won temporarily by the Red Hawks. Going to be pushed out to center. Giving chase to it is Caitlin Karpinski. She'll play it off to Gold. Gold pass got away from Mooney. With 15 seconds left, Liberty University sends it down. No icing, and Liberty University will capture the Division I Championship ACHA title. Williams with one last effort. Shot goes wide, and that's all she wrote. Liberty University, your champions. Great game from Liberty. Miami put lots of pucks on the net eventually, but couldn't get past Lashinsky. She killed it today. Dog pile gathering right next to the goaltender, Lashinsky. Hats off to a great game to both teams. Liberty comes out top. The final score, four to one. Liberty University upends Miami of Ohio. Shot total in favor of the Red Hawks, 24, 18. Absolutely incredible game we've seen here today. They'll be announcing the award just in a moment. Players still celebrating a fantastic game. Both teams applauding their players, rightfully so. Miami actually awaiting the handshake line. Again, we have Ben down ice side, rink side, waiting to interview two of the players and the head coach to get their reaction on the championship. some marquee players. First team All-American, Haley Williams, also won the Zoe Harris MVP award out of Miami, Ohio. Gary Zickling, Liberty University, got honors as well as the goalie, Chantel Lashinsky. Second team All-American was Sarah Stevenson. Number 
0-1, Chantal Lushinsky wins the MVP of the tournament for the Division I ACHA. Congrats to Chantal on an impressive tournament and congrats on being champion. She takes a photo op with Kim the Commissioner. You good? Beaming smile across her face. One of the happiest days of her life, I think. continues for Liberty University. Just announced this will conclude the event of the tournament. We're still standing by waiting for Ben who's gonna chat with the MVP of the game and hopefully the head coach. Good. Miles all around for Liberty University fans. They come over to the sideline to present the trophies to the fans and they go crazy. And then we hope to talk to a few of the players, get their reaction on the championship victory. Excitement all around for Liberty University fans. Miami leads runner off. Ben's over on the players' bench, patiently awaiting players to come over to get their reaction.
about ready to send it down the bend. <clears throat> ben right now with the head coach of Liberty University, Paul Bloomfield. Ben, we'll send it down to you. Coach Bloomfield, congratulations on the big win. We see some raw emotion here. How does it feel to come atop this ACHA tournament? Absolutely amazing. I'm almost speechless. I, I We just worked so hard. We've some, come so close. Just, it's just awesome. The girls were awesome tonight. Now, does this ACHA win, is, is, this, is this one of the best wins that you've had in your oh, coaching yeah. career? Oh, yeah, it's the best one. We can do this again. This is great. It's worth it all. Did you expect the wide margin of victory in this championship game? No, I really didn't. Uh, I think we just got uh, lucky a couple times there and got the puck deep in their end. We are able to capitalize. And uh, the girls just worked really, really hard. I mean, just kept keep them focused, keep them focused, and, and it was paid off. It's awesome. Thank you, Coach Bluefield. All right, back at the booth. Thank you, Head Coach Paul, for taking the time out to address us. We're going to send it right back down to Ben, who's with the 20 MVP and team MVP, Chantel Lashinsky. I'm here with the goalie of the hour, Chantel Lashinsky. Chantel, how does it feel? to be the ACJ tournament? I mean, I, there's actually no words that can explain how I feel right now. Um, we're all just so happy we've been to, in this position before last year and we fell short and came in second, but like, it's just so amazing to be able to finish and be able to win this tournament and we give all the glory to God because he was with us throughout this entire tournament. How do you feel coming out and being not only the first team goalie, but then now you come here and then you win the tournament MVP? I mean, I, I'm very flattered that I got that that name, but once again, like I couldn't have done it without our Lord and the team behind me. Like I didn't get many shots, so there is, that's the reason for all the shutouts. And it's honestly a team effort. The goalie doesn't only reflect the goalie; it's the whole team in front of them that allows the goalie to play well. So I I just want to thank my team and God for that. Did you feel any nerves at the end when Miami of Ohio came with the extra pressure towards the end? Did you feel that pressure? Oh, definitely. I was really nervous. But, I mean, I knew my girls had it. You know, they just ice it down and they do everything that they can to get the puck. I mean, they don't let anything through. They, they, they got my back 100% and I have theirs. So I was definitely nervous, but I, I deep down I had it. Thank you, Chantel, and congratulations. Thank you. Congrats to Chantel Lashinsky on an impressive tournament. MVP of the game and MVP of the tournament as a whole. Maybe getting one more player to talk to. Sarah Stevenson, Ben, let's send it back down to you. Sarah Stevenson of Liberty University, how does it feel to come atop the ACHA tournament? It feels amazing. We've been here before and it just feels so surreal to finally win and bring home the title for our school. The feeling's unbelievable. It doesn't feel real right now. Now you earned eight points in this tournament. How did, how did you do that? I just worked hard and gave it my all as a senior. I just wanted to leave it all on the ice and do everything I could to help the team win. And it just feels amazing to get the points like that. As a senior, is this one? Of, is this going to be one of your lasting memories before you graduate? Definitely going to be one of the best memories I have graduating. It's been an awesome four years with this team, and to finally win and leave my senior year with the national title is unbelievable. Now going back to the game, how did you stop the speed of Miami of Ohio? We were just on them. We didn't give them a time. We didn't give them the time to set up and get ready to block us. We just we came out flying. They couldn't handle our speed. We put it in the net early, and they just couldn't come back after we got up ahead of them. Thank you and congratulations. All right, thank you. Uh, Sarah Stevenson taking the time out. Looks like we've got Cardi Schickling going to be interviewed next. Ben, back to you. I'm here with the captain of Liberty University. How does it feel to come atop the ACHA tournament? Oh, it's an unreal feeling. Probably one of the best in my entire life. Like, we worked so hard and come through so many adversities this year and just finally sealed the deal. First championship in program history is unreal. Now, leading your team into this game, did you expect a wide gap being at 4-1 to the final score? No, I thought it was going to be definitely a one-goal game. Uh, I thought it would definitely be going down to the last few seconds where cause Miami's a good team and we're a good team. I just thought it was going to be a lot closer than it was. Now, um... 
This is, well, this is this definitely one of like the top victories that you've had so far here. Yeah, it's definitely the biggest win of my career, for sure. Right, thank you, and congratulations. Thank you to Liberty University Captain Carter. Yeah. We're here with a parent of Liberty University. How does it feel to see your daughter come out with the championship? Oh my God, it's wonderful. I haven't stopped crying. My daughter is one of the seniors that's graduating, so she's done four good years at Liberty. Loved school, loved the people. This is just a fantastic feeling. Her number, number four, Stephanie. Just so much love in the air right now. And thank you to everyone. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Ben. Here an interview. We need the boost for John Brown, Ben Metzlo, and Mike Taco. That'll wrap it up here. Four to one victory for Liberty University. From your site, Arena, I'm Jonathan Bromley. Thank you for tuning in.